My name is Brian Pillman Jr. And you're watching The Wrestling Rage. Wrestling Rage. Booyah! What's happening? 59th episode, ladies and gentlemen. You do you believe that? What's that? 58. Well, that says 58 up there. I know it's 59th there. I forgot to update certain parts. Thank you for the correction. Uh, joining me tonight is the official Wrestling Rage camera guy, Alan Hart. Some people know him as camera guy. Some people know him as Alan Hart. Are we going to get you a shirt. Yeah. Wrestling Rage Cam- well, we'll put Wrestling Rage on the front, camera guy on the back. What do you think? Official cameraman. There we go. I That'll like it. Awesome. All right. So, Alan has uh, filmed every inter- on site interview that I've done so far. Uh, welcome to the show. Welcome, Dave. Yeah, Glad thank- to be here. All right. So, um, he does look at that face. Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, aren't you? Wait. Oh, it's Friday. I was going to say, you should be. Aren't you on the road there, sir? <laughs> Play hockey these days, but in season during the season I'm at hockey, but I take a break and do something cool with you. So right, there we go. Yeah. I like it. Uh, so, do you want a wrestling rage T-shirt? I know you do. Oh, and loan Cody some of your beard. He says. Uh-huh. Uh, then click uh, prowrestlingtees.com/slash/wrestlingrage. Uh, that links down into the description down here. They're shipped right to your house. Stay tuned. Uh, yeah, there's another one coming eventually. There's also a link down there for the WWE shop. Yes, you heard that correctly. There is a link to the WWE shop so you can purchase WWE merch. When you do so, Wrestling Rage gets a very small, and when I say small, I mean small, commission. All right. Uh, lastly, of course, there, oh, don't forget, not lastly, don't forget, there is a donation link down there. You click that link, you do, oh, one day. All right. So anyways, I'm getting pops up, people trying to talk to me. I got stuff going on, man. I'm a busy guy, busy guy. Uh, there's a donation link down there. It might pop up some time down there, let you know that we are, uh, taking donations. Maybe let's make sure that that works. I guess I forgot to do that. You know how that goes sometimes, right? You're, uh, there we go. Stream Labs, bada bing, bada boom. Start that up. Now you hear that? All right, cool. My bad. Lastly, highspots.com. I also, or Wrestling Rage, also gets a very, very small donation from highspots.com yes again very small highspots.com if you go there you purchase some things whatever it could you could buy a turnbuckle ropes skirt and i don't mean a skirt you wear i mean a skirt that you put on a ring you could buy uh i mean you could buy a pay-per-view if you'd really wanted to you know what i'm saying um so make sure you scroll down there and check those out maybe you can do it now maybe you do it after the show it's up to you you can also go to wrestlingrage.com there's uh, videos on there and all that good stuff, and the links are available uh, except for the donation link, of course. Uh, Wrestling Rage is live every Friday at 8 p.m. Going to have to move it soon. 
because SmackDown's moving. Uh, yeah, I think it's in October. I could be wrong, though. Uh, you can like the Facebook page, at Wrestling Rage, or you can follow us on Twitter, at, at Wrestling Rage, with the R's capitalized. Now, be prepared, because we are about to show off a collection from Germany. Ham Germany. Oh. Yeah, Ham Germany, number one. Number wow. two, um, there's very, very many slides. A lot of slides in this. So uh, be ready to be wooed and odd and all these things. Here we go. All right, so we got oh, – I don't want to share it. My bad. I want to present it. There we go. Show the people. Right, there we go. Okay, so hold on. We're going to come over here, and we're going to do screen trash. Oh. Bam, look at that. All right, so let's get rid of this, huh? All right, so Marco Vaccaro from Ham, Germany, sent this to me. I put a post out on some groups uh, for collectors out there, and I got some responses. So just like I've done before, uh, Mark Marco also uh, makes customs, custom Hasbros. Nice. So we're going to see a few of those too. All right, so here we go. We're going to check this out. Uh, now, I believe this is a custom. Uh, I don't think that was a released Hasbro. Uh, I could be wrong, though, because it does look like the belt is painted on. But that's pretty cool. I like that. Oh, we, Yeah, it definitely Dan, looks custom. Right. Dan Beals here says, please don't move the show from Friday. We don't want to have to watch SmackDown. <laughs> oh, man. No, I didn't say that. Uh, I didn't say that. Uh, good stuff here. These look oh. custom as well, Steiner Brothers. Uh, definitely, you can see. There's Dusty. Undertaker. Sean. These are all Hasbros. I have some of these. But, like, I don't have the, the clothing and stuff. Look at this. All Hasbros, Dang. yeah. I love old school. Yeah, that's really cool. Who do we got now? We got... That's Sid Vicious. Jake the Snake there. Yeah, oh yeah. Big Boss Man. Yeah, Two oh yeah. different ones, too, in the corner. Yeah, oh yeah, the variations. Yeah. yeah, look, and there's there's over here, this is Honky Tonk Man. Oh. And that's um, uh, Greg the Hammer Valentine. It's like a custom of yeah. that. All right, cool. Let's see here. Oh, right on. These are cool. These remind me of uh, Amigo toys. Yeah. Yeah, that's what that reminds me of. Well, and these are these are the orange back. I forget what uh, release these are, but look, that's a whole complete set of these. That's amazing. Back when Jeff Jarrett went to Double J. Yeah. Wow. You know, Diesel. Yeah. Diesel. Kevin Diesel. Nash. What? Yeah. Oops. So these are customs that he makes. Uh, classic Hasbro Customs, I believe, is the name of it. I got it in the at the end, one of the slides, so we could talk about it then. But I mean, and you can obviously see. So this this is was an actually released. This was actually released, but this is all different characters that he's played. So that's pretty sweet. There we go. Kevin Nash. Nash and Hall. Ooh, look at that. That's nice. I like that. Look at the got the he's got the added twine thing to give it the whole real look. So these are oh. customs too, and uh, we got a close up of these here in a minute. But this is pretty amazing. Oh, so what? now listen. So uh, as as you can see, he has reached out to uh, KS Elite Stages over there, Carl Steele. We've had, we've showed off a bunch of their stages. We actually have one. That's a KS Elite stage right there. Uh, they can't even see oh, us. Yeah. yeah. But that, uh, we have a KS Elite stage here. Uh, and you, if you want to order one of those, you like, you're into that kind of stuff. You want to show your, show your collection off and you want to show it off in a different kind of way or a better way if you ask me you can go over to ks elite stages and look them up on facebook and i believe he's got listings on ebay uh, and he ships from england and he's a really good guy he ships really really good so uh if you ever want or in the market for something like that check that out now these are obviously customs huh <laughs> the a team yeah the a team yeah. you know nice 
I mean, you know, Mr. T did have his run. Yeah, oh yeah. So. Yeah. Uh and then so here's a custom Hogan, right? Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. Look at that. Now here's oh, this. Wow. I wanted to get to this one because this is really cool. Uh, you know, Gorilla and uh Bobby the Brain. Yeah, yeah Bobby yeah. the Brain there. So that's pretty cool. I thought that was sweet. I really did Very think nice. that. Yeah. We, you know, so Freddie Mercury cool. custom, you know. <laughs> and now, is that uh, Zeus? I think that's Zeus. Yeah, you I know? think that just might be. You know, I think that's a custom Zeus, yeah. you know, brother love. Yeah. And then I don't know, I, I don't know what these, if these were characters or if they were just something that he collected, he sent to me. Here we go. Jeez Louise. Here we go. Now I think so that that's a an LJN. These must a couple of these must be custom. Doom. Oh. See, I have that one right there. These are Galoob. Yeah. These are Galoob. You got yep. in there. You got Harlem Heat, you got Sting, Macho Man, two different Macho Man. Yeah. You got and Sting back there. Sweet. Ooh, look at this. NWO. Oh, with the belt like that, too. That's yeah. sweet. All of them. Most of them, anyways. Yeah. Oh, wow. WCW, Cactus Jack. Yeah. Is that Guerrero? No, it's Rick Rude. Yeah, okay. Wow, nice. Some more WCW. And Harlem Heat again. Yeah. More WCW. It looks so big. Yeah. Wow. That's uh pretty sweet though. Dude, to think like these are like this old and how like they look like the character, you know, right. look like the person back then. Yeah. Hey Craig, how's it going, buddy? We're showing off a collection right now. Craig Craig, we showed off Craig's collection before. And he's he's redoing stuff. We're gonna have to update your collection and show it off again. Uh but yeah, and then again, here's another Custom stage by KS Elite Stages with the old WCW background when they used to do the interview during the old NWA days. Yep, good stuff. And then I don't know what this is. I've never seen this. It looks like a little soundboard. Yeah, that's in the box. Looking good. NWA background. Yep, there we go. What we got over here? Yeah, the Legion. Yeah. Maverick. Uh, look at that, Jake. Ooh. Four Horsemen, but I don't think that's the original version. That looks like, yeah, that's. That looks like the kind that you would buy at Gibraltar Trade Center when it was still open. <laughs> that's what that looks like. Well, WCW was really never known for having great toys, you know. <laughs> you know, uh, not really ever. Uh, it looks like they got a cage ring here. Wow, man. There's a lot of stuff in here. Oh, here we go. We got some more WCW Goldberg back there. That looks like it's in the package. Yeah, that one looks more legit. Yeah. Oh, we got a Hogan. Are these all out? Yep, these are all Hasbro's. Yeah, there's a lot. You oh. see, there's a lot here that I don't have. Yeah, dude, I don't have Yokozuno. I don't have Papa Shango. I don't have Bam Bam. I don't have any of them. Yeah, dude. Is that the Repo Man back there? Oh, Repo Man. No way. Oh, oh, wow, man. I actually got to see him in uh, the first time Ooh. I went to a wrestling match. Really? Yeah. He was one of my favorite wrestlers back then. <laughs> Another Hogan thing. Look at that. The Patriot. Oh, oh, that would be the Patriot. What was he? Mr. America or whatever? Yeah, Oop. Mr. America. Yep. But the AW Ring and Wrestlers were terrible for Remco. Oh, right on. Here we go. Uh, sudden Death. Ring sudden. in the box. Sudden threat. Right. Oh, my bad. Can't read. <laughs> it's at Marysville Education, man. <laughs> they taught me a few things, but reading wasn't one. Uh, let's see. Another Hogan deal Couple with some signatures there. back there. That's and pretty you know, cool. Hulkster. Yeah. We got Hogan. Was, we got a, is that an elite? Yeah. Come on. Move. Go back. Go away. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Anyways, look at all these, man. That's crazy. Like, this is in a room set up. I don't have enough room for right. all that. I wish I did. That'd be sweet. 
Like even the money you put into something like that, you're spending some money on it, but you'll have somewhere cool to put it. Yeah. There's a lot of figures there. Oh, Yoko Zudo. Cool. Have them coming down the ring like yeah. this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ron Simmons. Sting. Oh, oh yeah. Sting. Got to have Sting. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Remember when he came in through the wall. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's good old Fred Oppen. Helmets yeah. come off. Yeah. Good old Fred there. Yeah. Look at Cyrus is like Jesus. Right. <laughs> Camera guy needs a mic. It's hard to hear him. Oh, what? Yeah, there you go. I'll get this closer. Yeah, there you go. She says it's hard to hear you. But uh, look at all these, man. That's insane. Eddie Guerrero, Double J, Sting, McFoley. Oh, oh, that's Vampiro. Oh, I don't see a lot of his action figures. Me neither. Yeah, Al Snow. Oh, wow. yeah. Good old Snow. Cactus Jack. Brock. Got yeah, Horn Dead. Swaggle. Oh, yeah. So Swaggle. Mark Henry. Batista. In the suit. Is that, Carl is that Carlito back yeah, there? Yeah, I believe that's Carlito. <laughs> He's got some Carlito. Vader. Oh, all sorts Lots of Vader Vader's going on. Yeah. Look at this. He's got the whatever you want to call it. Yeah, that with thing. that suit he used to come out of. Yeah, the yeah. Vader mask. Shockmaster, Beale says. Yep. Mm -hmm. right, Fred Ottman. Let's see. Dude Love. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They just came out with an elite figure of him in the last series. Nice. Yeah. There we go. Honky Tonk. Is that Skeletor? Yeah. It sure got is. the crow right there, too. Skeletor and the crow. <laughs> That's cool. I didn't know they were wrestlers. When did this happen? <laughs> Whoa. There's Typhoon. Typhoon. Shockmaster. Um, look at that, Mr. Fuji. LOD. Man, there's a, all kinds of them. Is that the Sheik? Yeah, it looks like the Sheik. Nasty Boys. Ted DiBiase. IRS. The, oh, yeah. Talk, man. Oh, Virgil. <laughs> lonely Virgil. Yeah. So Virgil. lonely. Oh, old school man. gold dust back yeah. there. Patriot. Patriot. Look at Patriot. that. Patriot. Wow. Ooh. Jake the Snake. Is that Triple H right there? Right here. Yeah. yeah. Looks like it. Wow, oh, man. This is insane. Like, I, I'm serious. Like, a lot going on. Yeah, look at this. What? It's insane. A psychosis, right? Yes. Yeah. I mean, like, how, dude? Dude, this one on the side right here. That one's cool. Oh yeah. <laughs> All these Nashes. Look at that. From the Outsiders. Sub Zero. Wow. And again, we got the Crow. Yeah. Wow. Holy moly! Some of these figures I've never even seen. I mean, we know like all over the place. There's toys I just released that aren't Glacier. Yeah, that's it. Thank you, sir. The O W N. I don't ever think that was that ever really a figure. I think that I might be a custom. Yeah, I don't remember ever seeing that. No. Not Sub Zero. <laughs> <laughs> that was his gimmick, though. Yeah, it looked just like Sub Zero. He yeah. Out, Look at all these Hasbro's. Look at all those Hasbro's. Those are Hasbro's cool. Hasbro's are where it was at with the, yeah. when I was growing up. Bunch. Oh, my goodness. American so man. many Hulk Hogan's all at once. All right. Thank you, Marco. <laughs> Holy smokes. That, <laughs> that was, was that was a lot. All right, we got to go back here to the live. Wow. Yo, we're back. Yeah. <laughs> J-Man, what's happening, brother? How you doing? Nice to see you. Thanks for coming on in. Who's the special guest? This is camera guy. This uh, yep. <laughs> this camera Alan. Guy, Alan. That's Alan. He's uh coming on tonight. Oh, I need to get rid of this thing <laughs> so I can see again. There's just too much stuff to kind of do. I need a, someone to like control buttons and stuff. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Well, so that would be all of Collector's Corner. We are going to go to... Oh, yeah, I forgot. I was using my phone and I just put it away. We are going to do... 
Do, do, do. I, did I ever do Collector's Corner? I probably did. All right, so here we go. We're going to go into Indies. Joining me live, December 21st, Proving Ground winner, Billy Ray Daniels. Now a word from Billy Ray. You guys want to know what it was like to be in Proving Ground or win Proving Ground? Tune in to Wrestle and Rage on December 21st at 8 p.m. Billy Ray Daniels will be there talking to Cody about all of it and much, much more. We'll see you live Friday, December 21st at 8 p.m. All right. So, yeah, BRD's coming on the show next week. So you're going to want to be here for that. I don't know. Maybe we'll do, you know, $5 or, uh, shots for donations again or something. <laughs> yeah, he's always down for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, don't try to drink with the guy. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. I don't know how he can go out there and drink in Jack Daniels what? before his match. So I've been asked, why did I get rid of the beard? Because I was tired of it itching. Oh. Yeah, dude, it was I, that was a year, man. That was a like year? a year, more than a year, actually. And I'm like, I'm done. <laughs> I couldn't do it anymore. Yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the five o'clock shadow yeah. type thing. You know what I mean? It's a good look. Yeah, get ready to bring this back. You know what I'm saying? Lynn Gonzalez says, "Alan, hey, how's it going? <laughs> yeah, how you doing? Uh, so, Indies, Michigan Indies. Huh? By the way, big shout out to Sean Sisk." Out of Florida over there, but he's originally from Michigan. He runs the Michigan Independent Wrestling Network group on Facebook. He has all, a very comprehensive list of every independent event happening in Michigan for like the next year. So if you want to know what's going on and you want to, you know, in Michigan, of course, that's the place to go. Go to that group. Again, Michigan Independent Wrestling Network on Facebook. Also, M, uh, MIPWN is what it goes by. So... Pro Wrestling All-Stars teams up with Metro Pro Wrestling to present Christmas Combat live tomorrow night, December 15th, 2018 from Heroes Hall in Brownstown, Michigan. Down, oh, doors open at 7, show starts at 7.30. Adults, $10. Kids 12 and under, just 5 bucks. Proceeds from this event going to support Victory's Gym Registered 501C charity program. Good stuff. So if you're on you're in town, you want to go see a show, check that out. There's two shows going on tonight too, but I mean they're going on tonight. So I yeah. mean the people that are watching this show aren't going to those shows tonight, obviously, right. right? So I'm not gonna, you know, horror slam and then there's another one. I forget what it is. Uh UWE Pro Wrestling, Santa's helping hand uh, and Santa's helping hands. Come together to collect gifts for the underprivileged kids in their town. All seating, only five dollars. I love cheap shows. Yeah. Love them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, XICW. Last XICW proving ground. Six bucks. Great. Nice. Yeah. Tomorrow, December fifteenth, at the Wexford Civic Center in Cadillac, Michigan. Uh, it takes place. Doors are open at six. Bell time set for seven. If you're in the area and you want to get your fill of wrestling action. Head to UWE's Christmas Carnage to help those less fortunate. That'll be a good time. Yeah, just uh, the name alone to make me want to go to yeah, it. Yeah, Cadillac Christmas Carnage. Very close, ah. I'd go of it. course, of course, yes. Blue. Yeah, NWO, what's going on? <laughs> nice to see you, buddy. Uh, of course, Blue Water Championship Wrestling's Headlock on Hunger at the American Legion Post 8 in downtown Port Huron takes place on December 29th. Many great matches taking place that night. I'm looking forward to every match myself. I don't have just one that I'm going, I got to see this match. They're all really good, in my opinion. So I'm looking forward to them all, right? It's going to be an action-packed night. Tickets are available at the American Legion and PKSA Port Huron and St. Clair. So and make sure when you go there, you um, say hi, okay, if you see me, right? Tickets are only ten dollars with four cans of food. Four, 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 four cans of food, and though that goes to the soup kitchen, and it also goes to the American Legion. So you know you're helping to feed the hungry. Um, and I, I used to know people that worked for the soup kitchen and ran it or whatever. But it goes to a great cause. Come on out if you're looking for you know something to do. And let me tell you, once you go to one of these shows, 
you you never you, you always come back. It's yeah, true. you know, and like Dan Beal says, there the car the card is stacked, yes. and I mean we got uh, five MWs taking on Muscle and Mayhem for the he- or for the tag team championship. Yep. You have Twinkie Power going against five MW Cody Hawk and uh, Edible Michael Barnes, yeah. who we haven't seen in a while. I don't think we've seen him since he broke um, Mr. Fitness's ribs. Uh, we got. Let's see. We uh, there's a couple other matches. We got Justin Maine yes. versus uh, Aaron O'Ryan of Death Threat Army. Yep. Definitely going to be a great match. Uh, and I is there any we have is let's see we have um, Shauna Reed is going against uh, man I can't remember her name off the top of my head, but yeah, great matches all night. You're gonna have it's gonna be amazing. Ten bucks, four cans of food. You can't. You can't, you can't beat, beat it. that. It's no. worth it. You know? Yeah. Oh, definitely. So, oh yeah, Blake versus BRD. Great match too. Definitely going to be a great match. There's just so many. It's just like you, if I, I feel bad for not mentioning them all because they're all really good. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Haley Shadows. That's it. Thank you. I appreciate that. I should have that like locked, but yeah. you know how it goes sometimes. Not everybody is as smart as Cyrus the team. <laughs> I mean, just the flyers alone that are going out online, like you just like it looks like it's so much that's going on. Like, right. how can you remember everything? And I made person? those flyers, so or the oh. one, yeah. So I not the flyer, but I made the the ones for the matches. Let's oh, put okay, yeah. yeah. So I should know, but you know. <laughs> Pew! All right, so here we go. All the rage where we talk about not all the news, but some of the news that happens. In the world of professional wrestling, it could be WWE stuff, it could be indie stuff, it could be just about anything. We're going to start it out in a minute after this. All right, so Natalia. Recently sat down with Yahoo Sports. You know who Natalia is, right? Yep, sure okay, you. okay. So Jim Nyhart, yep. right? So they're doing a storyline right now where Ruby Riot is kind of like dogging her dad, basically. You know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah. So a lot of people are there's a lot of you know how it is on the internet, right? So there's a lot of people talking and they're well, you know, this is disgrace or this is you know, they should never bring that into it and yada yada, you know, like I mean, yeah, Nine Hearts a legend, you know yeah. what I mean? And so people are kind of getting a little butt hurt about it. And right. so there's been a lot of discussion about it. Um, so there's a lot to say. Uh, she sat down with Yahoo Sports to talk about it. She talked about that. and, and um, But there's one quote here that I thought we should talk about because it's... Uh, it, it's coming from the daughter of who's actively working for WWE, right? right? So, uh, <clears throat> so here's what she said. I feel like if I ask my dad right now, daddy, how do you feel about me doing this storyline? My dad would say, go for it. All right. So I'm all right. So we have the daughter of the person that, you know what I mean? The legend that's be, they, that some people believe that he's being trashed or disrespected on this, on television right? right so people in the chat people in the chat we already got one comment about it and we'll say that in a minute but people in the chat what's your thoughts out there i want to know what you think do you think do you think that it's just wrestling and it's part of the storyline and everybody should just kind of like it but at the same time you go kayfabe right uh it's it's the job of the of the bad person the heel to make the person look great right uh so there's a lot of lot of uh, people not liking what Ruby Riot's doing. Do you think WWE's being disrespectful, or is it just part of the game? Is it just part of the game? Uh, <clears throat> There's a lot you can really say about this. It depends on like what if he was still alive. You know, like you can't say for sure. Like that's the way she feels. Like he would say go for it, but it's also like at what point. It, would it be okay? Yeah. What where, is there a line? Yeah. And if you cross it, did you go too far? Yeah. Like you know? if they keep going into it and digging at it, and it's just like you might go too far, and it might become like outside, yeah, outside story, and then you can just take it anywhere. 
to an extent. Yeah. You know, it's the same thing when you think about Roman Reigns and, and his and leukemia. his leukemia, yeah. you know. Uh, they're playing yeah. on it. Yeah. And, I mean, when it first, I don't know about now because I haven't really been watching all that much, uh, you know, but I, I keep, I pay attention to the, the main storylines and what's going on, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Uh, and when initially it was announced that Roman Reigns had leukemia, they were, they were, <clears throat> they were right on top of it. Oh yeah, exactly. Billy Ray. They were right on top of it. Yeah. And uh, now they've kind of backed off somewhat because now we get, we're going into TLC and we have the matchup between Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins, which is, you know, a grudge match basically. Right. Right. And I, I was initially with the whole thing with Roman Reigns. I was like, well, you know, dude, the guy's got cancer, man. Cancer's not really a joke. And I mean, but it's, it's part of the business. It's part, it's part of how things happen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's still things going to happen to you, whether you know it or not. It could, you could be fine for years, years and years. It should just hit you. Right. Well, and I mean, so Dean Ambrose is the bad guy now. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and people hate him. Yeah, and, and before Seth Rollins was the bad guy. Right, well, but that's the thing, but he's the bad guy. Yeah. People hate him. It's like, enough said. Yeah. That's what he's supposed to do. Yeah. They hate him. <laughs> so, okay, right? Uh, and then the same thing with Ruby Riot. She's she's the she's bad, bad woman. Yeah. She she looks mean. Right. You she, know, she, she plays the part look. well. Yeah. Oh yeah, Very she's well. got she's got that she's oh, got yeah. that down. She plays the part very well, but She's a bad guy or a bad woman, whatever mm-hmm. you want to say. You know, don't want to you know say anything that go wrong here. Right. Uh, but she's doing. They're doing. She's doing her job. She's, yeah. You know, she's told this is what you're gonna do, and she went out there and she did it. No questions asked. Right. Yeah. So, uh, and so Dan Beal says Anvil would would have loved it, and then we have uh, Billy Ray said cheap heat, and then Dan Beals again says a lot of people are whiny bees also, oh. which. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you think about it, it is the loss of a loved one, but it's like, like you said, where you draw the line. Yeah, like, they're gonna have to know where it stops. Yeah, and it comes to that final accumulation of they're gonna have a match, and that's when it's gonna stop. Well, and in, so then we have a we have a transit uh, a different opinion. Okay, Cody, I feel it's a bad storyline to push through for the ratings. I feel that it puts a damper on the tribute to the gym, the anvil. Yeah, heart. Yeah, okay, nine heart. I would agree. If she, if she's okay with it, it is okay. So there's you know uh, there's gonna be different people that feel different ways, you know especially if you're very invested in his legacy, yeah, it, it, him being a legend. Mm-hmm. Um, I I could see that point of view. However, um, I think that once this is done, it's done. There's gonna be no more of it. I don't yeah. think it's gonna continue on unless they're really pulling. They're really pulling. You know what I mean? Because we all know. That <laughs> we all know that you know the ratings are going down yeah. and you know whatever. So we'll. See. I don't know. <laughs> Cyrus and they'll bring something to like. I mean, like it's like with uh, Brock Lesnar always coming back to pulling the ratings. Yeah, you well, know, like I didn't know that his last Raw match was in two thousand six. I was when. I had to look that up to make sure if that was right. <laughs> I was like, there's no way. I see him on Raw all the time, but his last match, 2006. Really? Yeah. Uh, the dead have no option. Hash but true, or harsh but true. Uh, if Natty and her mom are okay with it, it's good. Spicy, snot, dead. He is in the soul realm. <laughs> Cyrus Deadpool already did it. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, so... The National Wrestling Alliance, yeah, they're still around. They have announced wow. James Storm will be challenging current NWA heavyweight champion Nick Aldis January 5th in Clarksville, Tennessee. So it's good to see that the NWA championship is making his rounds. And, yeah. you know, Cody Rhodes was the champ for a minute, and then he lost it back to Nick Aldis. Uh, so it's now uh, there's a lot, of, you know, and there's a couple more belts too. And. Booker T is looking to run to, for mayor in Houston, Texas. However, he's having some issues. But he was recently a guest on Win Clyde podcast where he discussed he may have to wait four more years what? to run. Well, because we, you know, he, we all know Booker. From his past from being in prison. Yeah, he did some time. Yeah. Did like nineteen months. In nineteen months for armed robbery, I think he robbed some Wendy's or something like that. But anyways. Um, 
his this is what he said, right? He says, uh, I've done time. I have to clear a couple of issues. My lawyers have been working on it diligently. He goes on to talk about uh, there's issues that he has to clear up, uh, but the timeline for him to file for running is closing, and oh. it's – it's a matter of getting the issues resolved before the timeline. So right. he's running out of time. And so he's might is most likely going to have to wait four years to run. I never thought, I mean, Jesse Ventura, right? You know, right. and you have uh, Kane now as a mayor yep. as well. Yeah. And now Booker T. And I mean, who else is going to get into politics? My Lord. I mean, the, wrestling is getting to be a part of everything nowadays yeah, I mean, you know what even i mean linda mcmahon she got into it yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, she, yeah didn't she try to run for uh well she point, she or? did but not pre it was like <laughs> office for massachusetts yeah, that's right, yeah. yeah but she's also part of trump's um cabinet she does yes. something i don't know what it is though she does do something the natch yeah I'm so glad that I actually got to meet the anvil. Spoke with him for a good 15 minutes. True, awesome gentleman, awesome guy to be around. Yeah, that would be cool. That definitely would be sweet. Uh, yeah, so that sucks. Now, here's some crappy mm -hmm. news. Uh, Big Cass had a seizure during the uh, House of Hardcore event last week uh, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And he was supposed to appear during the second half of the show. Uh, but because of the a seizure, of course, yeah. he wasn't able to. Uh, and they called EMT, you know, they called 911, EMT showed up, they assisted him. Yeah. Uh, Tommy Dreamer later tweeted that Big Cass is doing fine, uh, but there, I haven't seen anything else about right. it. Right, and even know? during the show, people thought it was a part of the show. Yeah. So Tommy Dreamer came out during, like, a break, and he announced that everyone let them know that it wasn't part of the show, that it really happened. Right. But that he was going to be okay, and that... There'll be updates coming out as he's getting better. Right. Yeah, definitely. So that's cool. I mean, that he's getting better. Yeah. It sucks that he had a, a seizure. Yeah. Um, I mean, it, I hate to talk trash about somebody that's, you know, down on, but he was looking like he was getting a little heavy. Yeah. You know, I don't know what was going on, but hopefully, you know, it's just a health thing and he can, he can reverse it and come back. Right. Uh, you know, so yep. Sergeant Slaughter. Sergeant Slaughter. Yeah, there we go. Wow. Old school, right? Did an interview <laughs> with Wrestling News, and they talked about Vince McMahon Sr., oh. how he wouldn't allow Junior, Vince, you know, yep. to wrestle. So Slaughter would have him wear a mask. What? And during house shows or dark matches, yeah. he would wrestle him really? on the road. Yeah. What? So that way the old man didn't know about it. Well, how, he, that's crazy. Yeah, wow. you know, like... Can, can you imagine that? So he, that's like this behind the curtain story that you never would have found out because it was between those two, really. Dang. You know what I mean? Nobody else really knew about that. But now it's been released. So, yeah, the Ric Flair drip go woo. <laughs> Listen to him. Okay. Uh, now, are there photos out there of this, you think? I, 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 you know, it would be cool if there was. Yeah. I definitely would be sweet. That would be uh, cool to see. Vince yeah. McMahon, back when he was young, wrestling, yeah. we didn't know, right. no one else knew. And I don't think he really, like, wrestled, like, wrestled, wrestled until after, you know, he was full-time owner oh, yeah. the whole nine, you know. But, I mean, even when he owned, he was still, you know, behind the counter, still, right. you know, still announcing when he owned. Yep. Uh, this will make Mr. Weir happy, because I know he's such a big fan <laughs> of Kenny Omega. Uh, Axis TV has announced a 10-hour Kenny Omega Marathon. Oh. It's going to take place on Axis TV, of course, on December 29th when most people are home, right? Yeah. Because they're on Christmas vacay. Starting at 2 p.m. Eastern. I believe it'll get done at um, like midnight, midnight or something. Yeah. Uh, midnight, something like that. So that's on starting uh, Eastern time zone. So check that out. There's going to be some good matches. I, I did look uh, the match between him and Jericho. Is it going to be on there? Nice. Him and Okada. There's gonna be a, there's a bunch of them. The Rock is gonna run for president. <laughs> I don't know about that. I'm going to start sounding like a broken record here because it feels like every week we talk about it. But Raw's ratings have again reached an all-time yep. low again. Uh, this week's Raw was uh, two million one hundred 
one hundred ninety three thousand million or uh, million viewers, now, right? Is that, is that uh, all together, or is it between the hours? Uh, they they average it between the three hours. Okay. Yeah, so it's two million one hundred ninety three thousand every week. The ratings continue to fall. The internet buzzes of fans' distaste for the current product, right? Yeah. What gives? I asked last week when they changed the course. When will they change the course? Right? What happened? Uh, are they going to change the course? A lot of people say no. A lot of people say that that's you know they're going to stick to what they're doing. And why should they? Because they're still making ad money, right? And they right. got a guaranteed amount of money. Uh, well, certainly the ratings are continuing to head down. We have a pay per view this weekend. Yeah. We're going into table ladders and chairs. Um, will the ratings go up after TLC? It's now been announced, and Vince McMahon is coming to Raw yep. on Monday. Yep. Will Will he come up? Will Will he? You know, will, he's, he's always had that ability to. Yeah, kinda, went, you know, you see him. You know, he walks out there. You know, and right? Everyone cheers for him, but does that bring in more viewers? Right. To know that he's going to be there. Oh, they! I believe they did. And Omega and Okada, Okada are great wrestlers, and but I'm tell I love I, I, I think they're both great. I like Omega. Okay, Cody, Tommy did assure me I can't give his last name, but you know him as the Dreamer. Set as Big Cass is doing okay, and that you should see him shortly. Awesome, right on. Yep. All right, so chair. So for TLC, let's talk about the matches. Right, we got a chairs match between Rey Mysterio and Randy Orton. Uh, definitely going to be a good match. I'll, I'll take uh, Rey Mysterio on that one. You I, I might have to take Randy Orton. Ooh, Randy I mean, Orton. I know he, I haven't seen a lot of him as of recent. You know, he's getting around to be that age where maybe he's just not the, the face that he used to be, but people still, they know him. And right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's still going out there. Well, he's still, the bad guy. Yeah. He's a bad guy. But I kind of feel like he's had a little bit more experience with the whole TLC thing. Right. So We'll see. He's always sadistic. He always right. comes up with a crazy way to be able to like incorporate all of it. Now, here's one that I didn't think was going to... I haven't watched this this round of ma Mixed Match uh, Challenge. I did last time, but I didn't watch this one. But we got R-Truth and Carmella, the team, uh, and uh, against Jinder Mahal and Alicia Fox for the, for the final. And, and I believe the winner of this gets the 30th spot for the Royal Rumble, oh, really? for their Rumbles. Because okay. there's a woman Rumble and a, and a man Rumble, men Rumble. Oh, they're doing that? Yeah. Nice. So each one would get the, 30, the 30th spot, which is the last spot for the Rumble, which is, you know, technically supposed to be a good spot yeah. to win, you know. Because everyone's almost already gone. Right. You know, I see, uh, I would, I think I see our, well, I see Jinder Mahal and Alicia Fox. Yeah. I, I mean, think that's what's going to happen there. I'm a fan of our truth but... Jinder Mahal, like he yeah. is. I, he, I, I, yeah. I love to hate him. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. I love to hate him. Yeah. And it's, Even when he first came around, he, I was like, he's that guy. Yeah, like, I yeah. Want to see him, yeah. I'm like, oh, I I, really yeah. Was. I want to hate him, but I also want to. I want to hate him because <laughs> I know I should hate him. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. But I don't. You know, yeah. it's it's one of those things. Uh, so this one was just recently added too. Cruiserweight champion Buddy Murphy is going to defend his uh, cruiserweight championship against Cedric Alexander. I've seen Cedric Alexander live at an Evolve show. Dude's an amazing wrestler. I, he went against uh, Zack Saber Jr. Dang. I got to see Saber go uh, two matches that night. So and, and Saber man, that guy, that guy's amazing too. Um, but. Cedric Alexander, I really would like to see him get that championship. That would be sweet. Yeah, it would. Uh, Elias, so I'm going to pick Cedric because I'm biased. I'm going with Cy. <laughs> I don't, whatever, I don't care. Who are you going with? I'm going to say Cedric as well. I, you know, he's got he's put on some good matches. There we I've go. Seen, yeah. Elias clashes with Bobby Lashley in a ladder match. I'm going with Lashley because he's going to cheat. Yeah, I kind of feel the same way. They yeah. see what you're saying. Yeah. She's with Corbin, and yeah. of course, you know, yeah. such with Good Drew cheap. McIntyre. Yeah, and then we have Vin Finn Balor versus Drew McIntyre. Now, I thought, is it Finn Balor hurt? I thought he maybe he was sick, but I'm going to say Drew on that one, definitely. I mean, a couple of weeks ago, yeah, Finn Balor picked up that win over him, but that was kind of like a little cheap win. Right. But yeah, Drew McIntyre, he's been he's been pounding it. He's been like kicking ass since he came back. Yeah. So I see him winning that one. So then we have a triple threat match for the SmackDown tag titles. The Bar versus the Usos versus the New Day. 
That should be a pretty good match. Uh, I'm going to say, who's the current champs? It is. Uh, is it currently uh, Bobby Roode? Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. And First, is that, but is that Raw? That's Raw. Oh, yeah, that's Raw. Yeah, I'm talking oh, Smack. Yeah, so um, these, one of these three must be SmackDown champs. But I'm going to go with the bar. Bar. I would love to see the Usos. Again? Like, yeah, because I feel like their reign as tag team champions just didn't last long enough. Right. And for New Day to go on just to, like, just almost be at the amount that, like, LOD was at. Right. And then just to lose them because they didn't want to, like, go over that. Right. But, yeah, I would love to see the Usos come back as tag team champions. Becky Lynch, Asuka, and Charlotte in a triple threat TLC. Tables, ladders, and chairs. I'm going with um, Charlotte on this one because after the tirade she went on when she went against R- Rousey, the last mm. pay-per-view, I see something in her uh, eye now. She's oh, yeah. she's <clears throat> going to hurt somebody. But the man, Becky Lynch, it's a hard one to pick against the both of them. And then you throw Asuka in there. Yeah. You know, it's just like... It's what like, are you doing to me? Like, you know Oscar what I mean? Might be that surprise winner. Yeah. That yeah. Oh, yeah. We didn't think was gonna even be able to like stand up in the match. Yeah. I. Yeah. yeah it, it's hard <clears throat> to pick, but I'm going with Charlotte because you know I like to live on the wild side. <laughs> I don't want to sleep on Becky. I know, but yeah, don't sleep on her. I mean, she's kicking ass out there. She had yeah. that. She had that broken nose and just went on like yeah. she didn't care. Yeah, I know. And, I, <laughs> and yeah, that really puts on the face uh, that she's strong. <coughs> Excuse me. But. You do got Charlotte, who is she can be just yeah. like her father used to be. Like he would get wild. And yeah. Oh yeah. Well, can... did you see that match where she went nuts on Ronda Rousey? No, I didn't. Yeah. Oh no. man. Yeah. It was, she got. Yeah. It was crazy. Um, Raw Women's Champ Ronda Rousey versus Nia Jax, and I'm gonna say Ronda Rousey's gonna keep the title. I why you know unless they want to shake it up a bit for the ratings and they give Nia the belt. Yeah, I mean, I think they're going to keep going on with Ronda Rousey because right now we don't have that male fighting champion, you know. Yeah. We've got Ronda Rousey who was going out every week and saying, bring me an opponent. Yeah. I want to defend this yeah. title. If I can't be the fighting champ, I don't deserve it. Mm-hmm. So I think they're going to keep the belt with her. Yeah, I think so forward. too. Yeah, I think so too. Then we have Braun Strowman versus Baron Corbin yep. in a table, tables, ladders, and chairs match. And... Uh, if you pick Corbin, you're an idiot. <laughs> Braun Strowman's going to destroy this dude. I mean, they did such a great job at like giving the whole storyline yeah. for this match that when we finally get to see it, and I know Braun's going to come in and he's going to have the match. But yeah. Baron Corbin just playing it off like he's going to have to forfeit. Right. So I think Braun Strowman's going to win this match. Very good. Seth Rollins, blah, 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 Seth Rollins defends his Intercontinental Championship against Dean Ambrose. Ooh. Now, I already know that um, they have this match booked yeah. quite a bit right. already through like more dates, you know, coming up. Mm. So I see this one. Yeah, this is obviously going to play along. So I, I think they're going to keep this one on Seth. For now, yeah. For yeah. now, that is a that's a good idea, you know, to yeah. keep it going. And uh, maybe for have, now, yeah. Maybe have like a second match, be like a little rematch, you know. Right. Uh, who do you think? I mean, if Dean Ambrose wins, and of course Seth Rollins will want his rematch. Well, so I'm yeah. thinking if that happens, then yeah, they'll keep We're it going. Have some flip flops. Yeah, just okay. like that. I think I think Dean's gonna take this one. All right. Yeah. And then. Daniel Bryan defends the WWE Championship against AJ Styles. Now Daniel Bryan's the bad guy, yep. and AJ Styles is the good guy. And I, I, Daniel Bryan's gonna keep it. I really think there's gonna. I don't really think there's gonna be a lot of, of too big of a shakeup, other than maybe you know the women. Mm-hmm. You know, that's really it. It's all I think when it comes to shockers for this pay per view. Yeah. Uh, now, overall, I do believe that this is a great card. I really, I'm actually, you know, when I was going in and reading and, and, and writing this stuff down, I was like, this is actually a really good card, mm-hmm. you know? So I'm, I'm actually kind of excited about this. I wasn't up until I started reading the, the actual matches. Uh, so I will be watching this. Uh, I can't say that I'm going to be, you know, able to like 
right, sit there right. the whole time, you know, because yeah. I have kids. But you know, I'm definitely going to watch it. So um, definitely looks interesting. Yeah, it and really I does. think I will check it out. I don't know. What are you? Are you, are you guys watching? You guys gonna watch the pay per view this weekend? Um, now tonight. Uh, I'm going to go back, but right now I believe uh, there is uh, on Impact's Twitch channel right now is a show that's going on down in Ohio. So I'm going to check that out. I forget uh, Rockstar Pro Wrestling, and they're they're working with Impact, mm. and they're doing a show right now on Twitch. So if you go to twitch.tv slash Impact Wrestling, you can watch that. And if you don't have access to that, maybe you have access to Pluto TV. Mm-hmm. I believe it'll be on Pluto TV's cha- their channel on Pluto TV as well. And the live stream there is, I was watching it when you were there. It yeah. was really good quality. I was yeah. really surprised. Yeah, I oh, yeah. Believe it. I was like, it was just like watching on cable. Yeah, know? they do really good. Yeah, you watched yeah. it. Thane Beal says he's watching it right now. So awesome. Definitely. So we are to the end of the show. This is where we do what we call legit wrestling questions, where you can ask us questions, and you can pick our brain for what we think, get our opinions. And you can ask you know, one question, two questions. You can ask both of us or one of us, whatever. So after we come back from this, we will watch or we will answer your questions if you have them. So here we are, legit wrestling questions. And yes, Jason Wirth says we need another Evolve show. Definitely. I've been to three or four of them now. I can't remember. It's three or four. But three or four plus the progress show that came when they had that double header. And that was an amazing night. That was an amazing night. That was Riddle's last show that night. Well, last Evolve show anyways. Before going on into NXT. yeah. 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 So... And then I was there the night Keith Lee did his last show for Evolve 2. It was the one before that. Well, when will Cyrus return to BWCW? That is not a question for me. That is a question for Blue Water Championship Wrestling Executives. I couldn't tell you that. I'd like to know what's going to happen with that uh, Rising Star title. Yeah, I've been uh, waiting to find out because like yeah. he was like, I don't want this, and then he comes back. And yeah, I, was I don't know. I by the whole, the whole I, well, story. You know, he... <sighs> I mean, I love Cyrus. I, I see him out there, and he puts on a really good show. Do I have a scoop? No, I don't have any scoop. I don't have scoop on that. I don't want to know that stuff. <laughs> that I don't want to know. You want to be surprised. Yeah, I want to have the legitimate reaction to things yeah. like that. You know, I want genuine. Yeah. I don't want to know none of that crap. Even though I could, yeah. I don't want to. Like it, and I don't. I know I, I said crap. It's not really crap. But, yeah. you know, I, I don't want to know. I don't. I Because I want to be, I want to feel the you know yeah. i want to have that genuine reaction you know and oh yeah. you know because sometimes i feel like uh i help feed the crowd sometimes yeah. you know i'm not saying all the time but if you're if all your peers were making a list of people that they wanted to be able to work with and you weren't on a single list <laughs> would you think it was because that they feared you or that they have forgotten Ooh. Could it be maybe a mix of both? I think so. Because, I mean, you know, you could take anybody. Or out. that they don't think it's possible. I mean, if it was in his situation, maybe they don't think it's possible because of location. Yeah. Uh, right. However, in the world that we live in, there's travel. Yep. You know, there's cars. You there's there's trains. There's... Yeah, there's a flight. Yep. You know, there's all kinds of ways. Uh, personally, I would, I would, uh, I would probably, since sometimes I steer towards the negative side of things, sometimes I would f- personally probably go with forgotten. Mm. You know, that's for me, right? Because, and then I would have to dig myself out of the hole that I like to, <laughs> that what I call it. You know, because that's you know it's the Alice in Wonderland rabbit yep. hole that I'll dive into. And then, you know, once you dive in, you got to get back out and it's harder to get out than it was to get in. And I know that sounds confusing, but it's the truth. Uh, And then I would figure out that they probably fear me. Oh, and these cats are scared. These cats are scared. I, I, well, you know, I, for you. Yeah, definitely. Most definitely. You're doing things that other guys ain't. 
you know, so it is what it is. Definitely. That's that's the that's the life we live in. And I and I was I was actually I was watching this podcast that Levi did uh last week or during the week, you know, whatever. And um he was saying that we live in the me generation now where everybody wants to their 15 minutes of fame. Yeah. And course. nobody Nobody wants to put in the work anymore. Right. They and just that, think it's going to be handed to them. And that goes they, for anything. It goes yeah. for everything. It goes, it, uh, not just wrestling, just life in general and work, yeah. jobs. Uh, I've seen it a hundred times with what I do. Um, and I really believe that these guys don't really think about what they're doing for everybody else. It's about what they're doing for themselves. Right. And that's just everybody. I'm yeah. not saying just wrestlers, but everybody. Yeah. Uh -huh. I, we got oh, challenges going wow. on. BRD and Cyrus getting ready to throw down. All right. So we're not getting a lot of questions, uh, but um, let's, I'm going to throw one out there for you guys. What is your, what match for TLC are you guys looking most forward to? Like, which one, like, if you didn't, weren't going to watch any of the matches, which one would you watch? You know, like, go back and watch that one match. Which one? Um, so, I'm really excited. I, I like the women's triple threat match. I'm really excited for that yeah, one. Yeah, that'll be I, awesome to see. I really, I'm really enjoying some of the new... I'm not new, but some of the 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 actual wrestling that's going on in the women's division in WWE. Sometimes I feel like it's a better show. Yeah, I mean, uh, I remember, sometimes, not all the time. Yeah, like back when they used to have one match, you know, like they would just be thrown in there during like to like fill some some time. Right, Dean uh, uh, Dean versus Seth, Seth match is what Billy Ray says. That's one he's looking forward to. Um, that's amazing. Yeah, you know, that's a great. I mean, you know, they're supposed to be the whole band of brothers. Yeah, well, it was. Yeah, yeah it was. Yeah. And Beals I'll... also says Dean and Seth. We're missing we're missing some viewers tonight because there's a big Christmas party going on. <laughs> I should have been there, but I got a show to do. The show must go on. Definitely. But, you know, it is what it is. Just let me know. Look at this, man. They're going to throw down. They're going to throw down Ooh. in Florida, and we're going to miss it. Oh. I'm going gonna, gonna to have to go, too. I Imagine. really hope someone's there to film that one. That'd be awesome. We need to get with these kids and have them do like when they need to start inventing the teleporter. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like like in Star Trek, so yeah. that we can go places real quick. Because yep. man, stuffs it ain't getting cheap, right? All right. Well, we'll see you later. Cyrus is on the road. He, are you on your road on the way to New York? You have a good one. Yeah. Enjoy your weekend, my man. Man, Cyrus, he is all over the place. Yeah. You well, know? I mean, yeah. Good luck, my man. Yeah. Good luck, Cyrus. All right. So we're at the end of the show. Legit wrestling questions. Nobody has any. Uh, I want to say thank you, everybody, for uh, joining tonight. Uh, don't forget, you can still donate a dollar, 50 cents, whatever it is, down there. You click the link, boom, wham, it'll come through. Uh, use PayPal or your credit card, whatever. I appreciate it. If you do, if you don't, it's okay, too. It is what it is. You can always get a T-shirt, ProWrestlingTees.com slash Wrestling Rage. With an R, always with an R. Remember that, R-A-S-S-L-I-N-R-A-G-E, Wrestling Rage. And you can click all them other links down there and go buy stuff if you really want. We really appreciate it. Thank you for coming on. Hey, it was, uh, was awesome, awesome yep. having you here. We talked some wrestling. We did all that. Don't forget, next week. Billy Ray Daniels is joining us, coming in from LaGrange, Texas. He's going to come on in. We're going to talk about we're going to talk about season five of Proven Ground and what it was like for him to win, and what it was yeah. like to be uh, mentored by Levi Blue, who is a member of the XICW Hall of Fame. Uh, there's actually a couple different Hall of Fames that he's part of, uh, and uh, a lot of things that I found out about him uh, when he did a recent uh, interview. Or he did a uh, podcast, and I was listening, and there was a lot of things that I found out about him that I never even knew. Uh, Levi Blue is what I'm talking about. So that's uh, pretty sweet. Uh, now, Levi reached out to me, and he was like, listen, man, uh, you got uh, any way for me to call in or something like that? So I'm going to arrange oh. something, and I'm going to bring in Levi on a, on a little thing here while we do the podcast. It's a so, great idea. Yeah, yeah. and we're going to talk to Levi, too. 
Uh, so going to be a good time. Uh, you guys should uh, come on out next week, 8 o'clock, Friday, 8 p.m., right here on YouTube. Show, Yeah, like he's late to the show, man. I'm late, but I made it. It's all right. It's the view that matters, right? You can always go back and check it out. Uh, Unless Andrew's got a question he wants to come, he wants to hit us with real right. quick. But yeah, Billy Ray's going to be on the show, and Levi's going to join us here from uh, What About Cody Stash? What <laughs> yeah. about yours? What about you, yours the with the? Uh, right now, yeah. He's got the die job going. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> you know. <laughs> All right. So listen, guys. We are going to see you next week again. Alan joined us, and we're going to tell him thank you. We're going to sign off here. Make sure you give this video a thumbs, thumbs up. up. Very good. Thumbs up. Big one. Yeah, big thumbs up. And make sure that you watch all the content that you put your little heart's content. Please watch, 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 watch. Share, share, share. Thumbs up, share. Very good. Thanks so much. Share. You guys have a good night. Share. We're going to have a, we're going to get out of here. See ya. <laughs> we are the Death Road Army. Vehicle City villain Aaron O'Ryan. Black Diamond Jack Price. The wild child Jody Threat. And weaponized Alex Weir. And you're watching Wrestling Rage live on Friday nights at 8 o'clock on YouTube.